Welcome back to Nighttime. That is the Nighttime Band with Juan Santos, Aaron D'Souza, Shiloh Silvers, and Wayne Silvers, and Ellie with this wicked camera -ing. camera. What's it called? Camera. What he was doing. That was Ellie. Anyway, <laughs> and health. Okay, so we have our comedian up next. Let's give a huge round of applause to Jennifer McAuliffe. <laughs> Hi, thanks for having me. Uh, I'm Jennifer McAuliffe. I'm a single lady. I don't, ooh, I don't have a boyfriend. I don't want one, but there's rats burrowing into my apartment, so I need one. You know, I need a secondary location. <laughs> I, uh, I don't have trouble getting dates. I'm a stone cold cutie. What you got here is a seven out of 10. You know what I mean? It's a hard C plus, you know? I get you into Ryerson, you know? Without too much work, so think about it. I, uh, I do go on a lot of dates, obviously. I go on a lot of dates. I'm pretty on the outside, uh, but I haven't done any inner work, you know? Like, I haven't read a book since high school. Mm hmm Yeah, it was, he's not that into you. Yeah. More of a gypsy curse, really. Yeah. So I do go on a lot of first dates, like so many first dates. Like exclusively first dates. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of like the group on of dating, you know? I, uh, <laughs> guys want to try it. And then they're like, one star, do not recommend. You know? Aww. Yeah, that's okay. My insides are like a basement without a light. You know? You're going to get hurt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Hurting some feelings here today. Uh, so, yeah, so I go on a lot of first dates. I know what men want to hear. They want to hear sports are important. And we're in the same tax bracket. Guys love that. But I, uh, I end up saying things I mean, but didn't mean to say, because I get so stressed out on first dates, because men have what I want, income. <laughs> yeah. I want it. I'm so poor. Yeah. I want it so bad. A lot of comedians want to get famous. I want to get vaccinated. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's that like? Everything hurts. Yeah, yeah. I need face swap, but for bank accounts, you know? Real poor, so poor. Uh, so I do, uh, I do end up saying things I mean, but didn't mean to say, you know? I say things like, um, I kick dogs. Does anybody kick dogs here? No one? Really? Oh, so no one's met a beagle. Fun. That's fun. They have expressive eyes, um, and they're untrainable, and football shape. Lots of air, you know? Yeah, lots of fun. Yeah. So, guys, I don't have um, fear of missing out. I have fear of missing sleep, you know? I'm a real go getter. You want me. Yeah. Uh, you might be asking, uh, but she's so pretty and smart. How is she still single? You know? Because I'm crazy. Yeah. Real crazy. Yeah. I feel like I would be able to find ISIS. If they took me on a date and never called me again. You know what I mean? Ooh, hard hitting. Uh, it's a nighttime show. You're fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, guys, uh, I, it's not all doom and gloom, you know? I, uh, I bake cookies. You know, I'm sweet. I bake cookies. Last time I baked cookies, they set the oven to 360, 360 degrees. They went back to dough. <laughs> oh. Okay, thank you very much. I'm Jenna from McAuliffe. <laughs> Thank you, Arlie. Great having you here on our Thanks show. Thank you very much. How long have you been telling jokes for? Um, five years. Mm -hmm. Glorious years. Nice. Yeah. And where are you based out of? Toronto. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. So you're within that whole scene of, um, like, uh, there's a... Uh, like Ernie Vicente, we yeah. had him on the show, Keisha Brownie, yeah. um, Jen Sicato. Yeah. Cool. All those people. Nice. Yeah. What's uh, your fall looking like? Are you, do you have any live shows coming up? Yeah, I'm actually going down to um, Atlanta, but I don't know that I'm supposed to say that on television because I don't have a visa. It's okay. It's well, fine. No, you're they going for watch, vacation, right? They don't watch Brampton TV. It's going to be fun. on vacation? I'm going on vacation yeah, to Atlanta. Fine. And not doing stand up there. <laughs> no. Okay. So, um, what's something I I, I want to know, um, you know, through through your course of your comedy, 
What's something that you were, you kind of did in the past five years where mm -hmm. you were like, oh, I shouldn't have done that, like within your performance? Oh, everything. Just oh, really? everything. It's all been bad. Um, let's see. What have I done as a performance? Oh, okay. So one time I did this um, show. Now, normally I sit in the audience and watch the rest of the show. Okay. But I was leaving the next morning, so right. I needed to go pick up my luggage and bring it to the show, so I didn't have any time. So I just walked on stage without prepping, and I started talking about how I don't have a boyfriend, and I look on the crowd, and it's a Star Trek convention. <laughs> and I was like, oh, maybe you're not going to sympathize that much. <laughs> They're like Trekkies in their um, velour pajamas. So did you did you end up finding a lot of dates that night? Because no. you're probably the only girl that they might have seen, maybe? I yeah. don't know. Maybe Even that was... still, they were like, you seem like a lot of work. <laughs> Oh, well, thank you so much for being here. We're going to see you in a couple segments. We're uh -huh. going to play a fun game with you and Jennifer Tarenta. I can't wait. Okay. Cool. Up next is our Millennial Apartment, Jennifer Tarenta. Stay tuned.